my friends welcome back to the channel hey today we are checking out one of my favorite knives the victorinox tinker now i can't believe i didn't do one of these reviews as one of my first reviews ever just because uh, i've had a tinker forever can't remember a time when i didn't have a tinker they're a great knife uh, they're affordable they've got a lot of great options and it's one of my favorite knives to carry around the house and i'm going to tell you why very shortly as you can see they come in blue they come in red they come in some special editions like this one here uh, i picked up this one this is called the candy cane model uh, this was picked up at smoky mountain knife works in around 2020 and as you can see 24.99 uh, these knives still range around the $24.99 uh, price range, but if you get something special like this one, a, sp a special edition, uh, it's probably about $10 extra today. They're about $35, and they sell these on uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, DLT, all over the place. You can get special edition tinkers. But why do I like the tinker? Well, first of all, the size. The, the handle is the right size. It's the right weight. And just the plethora of options, in my opinion, it's everything that I need and nothing I don't. And I've said that before on this channel about some other knives um but let's just jump right into it uh, this is the blue model of course they're all the same they, they just they all have the same tools but the scales are different you have a small flat head screwdriver and a can opener you have a larger flat head screwdriver with a bottle opener this is also a wire stripper now if the wire is fat enough you can put a wire in there and pull it through and strip it there you go you can see that uh if if not you can put this on the half stop you kind of take your blade like this, put the wire in the hole, and it'll uh, rest the blade on the wire and pull it through, and it will also strip it for you, just in case you didn't know that. Some people say, how could that be a wire stripper? Well, there's actually two different ways. So you got the large blade, then you got the small blade. And this is one of the reasons why I really love this knife, is that small blade, great for finite tasks. As you can see, I've even bent this one, using it how I shouldn't. I wouldn't recommend that. Also has a Phillips head screwdriver. That's about a number two size. And then it has an awl or a reamer. Some people call that a punch. It does have the hole in it too, if you're doing some other kind of work. So just a great knife. Obviously, like most Victorinox, it also has the tweezers and it has the toothpick. Like I said, lightweight, looks good. Uh, they also make it in black. So you got the, the red, the black, and the uh, this blue, as well as the special editions. So now real quick, I'll just show you this knife next to a Cadet. You can see that the Tinker is a little bit thicker than the Cadet. Handles a little bit different. Uh, but what this is really similar to would be something like a Pioneer. So that's why I, this is just a Swiss knife shop green Pioneer. Beautiful green. Really like this knife. And as you can see, same blade length, same handle length. And the thickness is similar, real similar. So just a great overall knife. Uh, if you don't have one, if you don't know where to get started in EDC, maybe you're just getting started. Maybe you're not sure. Even with Victorinox, there's so many models. It's like, which one do I pick? It kind of depends what tools you want. A lot of people like the scissors. They do make something called the Super Tinker, which is this same knife with a pair of their Victorinox, you know, famous scissors. Uh, that's another option. It will make it a little bit thicker and heavier. I opt without the scissors because I have the small blade. But, you know, a lot of knives, I just reviewed a Benchmade, pretty expensive. Just reviewed a Boker before that, pretty expensive. A lot of channels like to do really flashy, really expensive knives, and I get it. It's fun to watch. I like to watch them, too. I like to buy them. I like to carry them. Uh, but this is a common man's everyday carry piece. You could build your everyday carry around a Tinker, and uh, you don't have to be bashful about it. If people aren't giving it respect, it just shows how little they know because these knives have been around forever. Uh, they're easy to use. They're easy to sharpen. They're recognized all around the world. They don't bring you the wrong kind of attention. I mean, you guys know me. I'm a Swiss Army fanatic. I'm a little bit of a nut for a Swiss Army. So I guess I'm preaching to the choir if you're watching my videos. But anyways, guys, what do y'all prefer? You like the cellar door, the plastic handles? Do you prefer ALOX models? Do you carry something else? Do you carry more of a traditional slip joint? Let me know in the comments. Uh, if you're on the fence about this knife, I would definitely buy it. As you can see, I bought a bunch. I've got some other special editions. Maybe I'll bring out one day. Uh, but I normally carry this translucent blue one. Thanks so much for watching.